Hey guys, um, back with you for another workout Monday, chest and triceps. Um, we have introduced the Lambert. We're gonna we're gonna have it in on some of the workouts. And uh, don't worry if you don't have the equipment. We'll show you modifications if you don't have the equipment, so we can you know continue on doing other body weight stuff as well. And last but not least, the food. I just want to thank everyone that's been posting food recipes, sharing on Facebook. It's been really great. If you haven't seen it, I'm having people share iPhone videos, pictures, so on and so forth about what everyone's eating because you guys are all over the world. There's lots of different foods and it's really great to see, you know, everybody out there sharing recipes, healthy ideas. I've even gotten some pictures of some fridges, uh, what's in the fridge and uh, it's been great. So lots of sharing. Thanks for, for doing that and we're going to continue, you know, with that process so we know what everyone's eating and we can share with everybody because sharing's better. All right, enough of me talking. That's the most I've talked in quite some time. <laughs> I didn't do too bad. Um, all right, so we're going to start with uh, chest and triceps. Today also going to be a little bit different. You're going to set your timers for six rounds. It's going to be two minutes, okay? So you're going to be doing this exercise for two minutes straight and then the next exercise is going to be two minutes straight and then the third exercise is going to be two minutes straight. So we're doing three exercises, two minutes straight, you're going to get 20 second break in between each exercise. Okay, so the Lambert, that's what we're going to call it, I don't care. <laughs> How you it's, pronounce it? It's the Lambert, alright. Um, so this is a really excellent uh, piece of equipment here. Uh, you can do a million body weight exercises with it. So the first one that I did today uh, was a chest press with my legs back and then I went right into a dip, okay? so. Uh, legs starting back like this, you want to turn the core on, you're just going to do a straight push up. You're going to come up, swing the legs out, you can bend them, I recommend bending them a little bit. And then you just come into a dip, straight up, and you're going to come right back. So up, up, up. For guys, uh, I felt it a lot on the inside of my chest, not the inside, sorry, the outside of my chest, um, right where it cuts there. So that's where I felt a good, uh, a really good uh, contraction there. Um, for the dips, just make sure that you're not sinking too far. Uh, you don't want to hurt your shoulders too much with this. So just, it's all for comfort. If your legs feel a little bit, you know, better outwards and it's easier on the shoulder, then have them out. If you want them bent a little bit, then bend them a little bit. Hey Cal, whatever, uh, whatever works uh, best for you. If you don't have the Lambert at home, um, your dip station, you can do a straight push up and then you can do a dip, okay? Um, and that's a combination that you can do. If you don't have either piece of equipment at home and you want to use a chair for your dip, um, what you can do is obviously the straight push up and then you get into, I'm going to use the couch as an example here, and then you can use this as a dip so you can go straight down. You can have legs out. You 
can have legs up on another chair. So there's lots of uh, lots of different modifications that you can use uh, at home if you don't have any equipment. Okay, so for this uh, exercise, I call it 21s, okay? Uh, so you're gonna do seven of each exercise, okay? Okay, so for the push-up, um, you're gonna have your hands really exaggerate this one, okay? So I have your hands really wide here. Um, you're gonna put your hands out here like this and you're just gonna bring the leg underneath you as you come down. So it's straight down and straight up. Straight down and straight up. Okay, if you can't do that, um, we can just do kind of like a mountain climber style and this one's a little bit easier. Again, hands out here, you're gonna come in and then bring the leg up, leg up, leg up, okay? Um, other way, knees down, up, spread them, kick, kick, knees back down, up, kick, kick, okay? So there's a couple of different things you can do. The next one, you're gonna bring your hands in, Shoulder width, okay, so now you're gonna be targeting a little bit more of the center of the chest and a little bit more of the triceps. You're gonna come here, and then you're just gonna right back down, right back down, right back down, okay? Um, modification for that, again, if you can't do it, um, just do it off your knees, and then bring your leg back, like so, okay? You wanna keep your leg nice and straight as well when you come back. So that's a modification for that. And then the third one is the, uh, is the star. We did this uh, the last time as well, but we did it with uh, legs out. So we're coming in, up, 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 okay? Again, don't sink your back. Uh, don't curve your back at the back. Um, just keep your core nice and tight when you're doing this and really concentrate on pushing yourself up and you'll, you'll get a good uh, tricep uh, contraction at the top. Um, if you can't do that, then you can just do it from your knees, just like that. And one other one, if you can't do the kick outs, just do a straight, a straight diamond push up, okay? So you're gonna be doing that seven, seven, and seven. So it's, they're called 21s, okay? So you're gonna be doing that for two minutes straight. So the last exercise, the chest is gonna be really, really on fire. We're gonna get the sandbag, okay? You're just gonna roll it out and you're gonna actually just do a press, okay? It's like a, like a bench press. Make sure don't have your wrist back. It's really hard on the wrist. So when you want to keep your, your wrist nice and locked, um, so, so you don't have any wrist problems, okay? So what I would recommend to get the bag up, um, you know, you're gonna grab it by the handles, just put it on your knees just like that, and then you can just roll it back. Don't roll it on your face, just like I did. But have it right here, and then you're just gonna do a straight press, okay? So it's just up and up. Just like that. You're gonna roll it up if you get too tired and then you're in the position where you can come back down and do it again. If you don't have a sandbag, I'm gonna recommend an elevated push-up, okay? Um, so if this is my chair at home, I would put my feet up here. Feet on my sofa. Yes, oh. feet on the sofa. With your shoes on. Yeah, oh well. Oh, nice. We're gonna do an elevated push-up. Okay? So that's something that you can do if you don't have a bag, okay? Um, so that was the workout. Two minutes, okay? So you're going for two minutes straight. You're gonna think, oh, the sandbag or, or whatnot at the end. Remember, don't underestimate this because if you have a weight that's tough for you um, or moderately tough, it's going to kill you because you're just pounding out the reps. So you, you want to really focus on your form, obviously. You want the nice slow contraction as well, but you're trying to get as many as you can as well. Uh, so you get a really nice burn. Okay. So yeah, that's the chest and triceps uh, workout. 
Uh, let me know what you think. Post, uh, post your scores. Let me know how many you got for each uh, of the two minute rounds. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to write in and uh, I'll get back to you. Bye. Bye.